What is going on guys, Mr. Crazy1870 with an unboxing and quick look at the BenQ Joy B GP2 mini projector. Now looking at the top of the box, you get a picture of the GP2 and down on the side, it does give you some of the specs of the projector which I will be going over in this video. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now as soon as you open up the box, you are greeted with the GP2 which looks all nice and protected but I will come back to it in just a minute. Now digging a little deeper in the box, there is a included remote control which is definitely going to come in handy. Now there's also a user's manual disc and a quick star guide that is pretty much going to give you the whole rundown how to set up and use your new mini projector moving right along to the cables and up first we have the power cord and what looks to be the power adapter now there's also a cea 30 pin cable which will allow you to connect the gp2 mini projector to a pc or a dvd player and the last cable inside the box is a usb cable now coming back to the joy b gp2 mini projector now the projector does come with this real nice carrying case which is going to make it easy to carry your projector with you and keep it protected as well and here we have the mini projector itself which is very small and very portable now giving you guys a quick look at the gp2 looking at the top there is a iphone slash ipod dock and right in the center, there's some touch sensitive control. Giving you guys a quick side shot. Now there's also a couple inputs. Up first, we have a HDMI, PC slash AV input, mini USB and a regular USB input. Now down at the bottom, we have a audio in, a headphone jack and a DC in. Now this mini projector also comes with two built-in speakers and a SD card slot. Now looking at the side, there's a focus ring where it lets you adjust the focus. Now the whole setup is super easy and it's as easy as plug and play. Now what's really cool about this projector is the fact that it has a iPhone slash iPod dock where you could easily dock it into the projector and view YouTube videos, Netflix, or even some of your own videos that you have on your iPhone or iPod touch. Design. Moving a little further down now, it has this gooseneck line that allows you to easily adjust the speakers to your desire. At the end, there's a USB input, which is where it's going to go ahead and pick up power from. Now, installation is super simple, and it's done by plugging into the USB port on your laptop. Now, in my case, on the MacBook, now once it's plugged in, now another cool feature that I really like is that it has a HDMI input so I was able to hook up my PS3 to the projector without a single problem. Now you simply hook up your PS3 via the HDMI, hit the main menu on the projector, go ahead and navigate to the HDMI, go ahead and dim the lights. Let me go ahead and get my Modern Warfare 3 on right quick. Now the camera really does not give you the true quality, but the projector is HD ready and it's at 200 lumens, so it's pretty bright overall. I was really, really impressed with the quality of this projector. Now the two built-in speakers were also pretty good and did get the job done. Now taking a quick look at the front of the projector, there is a vent and the actual lens where all the magic happens. Now at the bottom of the device, there is a tripod mount, which could come in handy just in case uh, you would take this on a camping trip. Now there's also a little kickstand where you could sort of elevate the projector depending on your situation. Now this also comes with two gigs of built-in memory, which is not all that much, but you do have a SD card slot, which could be a pretty good alternative for more memory. Overall, this projector has pretty much a little bit of everything. It's pretty solid, very nice design, and also very portable. So that was just a quick unboxing and quick look at the BenQ Joybee GP2 mini projector. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook. Facebook fan page all the links will be down below please don't forget to slap that like button now we'll catch you guys on the next one late